OnRamp goes over acceptable variable names. The following are the rules. It has to start with a letter and contain only letters, numbers, or underscores. But I'd like to take a moment to talk about best practices for variable names, because acceptable is just not good enough. For example, there are many keywords, such as if, for, while, that are also unacceptable variable names because they already have a specific meaning in the code. You can, however, overwrite some variable and even function names, such as pi, which with the power of MATLAB, we can change from 3.14 to 5, as God intended. This can be especially problematic if you name a variable mean, a function that takes the average of a set of numbers, as when you try to call it in the function later, your program won't work. Upside, though, you can type clear and then the name of the variable, and it will just remove it from the workspace and return it to default. It's not worth worrying extensively about this because MATLAB has autocomplete. So if you type in the beginning of a function or variable that already exists in the workspace, it'll appear below it. When thinking about variable naming, it's important to remember a rose by any other name causes cascading errors. If you get the name wrong in other parts of the program, it's gonna cause things to completely break down because the computer can't tell that you've made a mistake. So you can have words that are misspelled, but you have to misspell them the same way every time. Descriptive variable names are best, as it will make reading your code easier. While single letter names are easier to write, it can be difficult to figure out, figure out what corresponds to what later on. Variable names are also case sensitive. To make matters simpler, most programmers use some form of naming convention to have consistency between names. MATLAB style guidelines say to use camel case, a system where words are written without spaces and the first letter of every word except the first word are capitalized such as camel case, iPhone, one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater, albeit variable names shouldn't be that long. Your code will run even if your variable names aren't written in camel case or are even just one letter long. What's most important is a consistent naming system that will make it easier for you to remember how you named your variables.